dude, I'm not gonna lie, I'm shocked. I thought it would sound better. I knew it would sound better. I did not think it would sound like that. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Chase on two wheels here for a very exciting video. Behind me, I have a subscribers 2022 absolutely gorgeous Yamaha R7. This is the 60th anniversary and it may be the best looking R7 that Yamaha makes. Now, we got a really cool opportunity. Our buddies over at Leo Vince decided they wanted us to install a exhaust on an R7. We didn't have an R7, so we asked for people that have an R7 to reach out and Milo's R7 is here in the shop. So in today's video, we're gonna get the Leo Vince exhaust installed on the R7 and see what it sounds like. This bike is absolutely phenomenal, but probably the worst part about the CP2 engine, which is the engine that is inside of the R7 is, it's very capable, but stock, it just, it doesn't have the grunt that matches the power that the bike has. So to start this off, let's get, let's get a baseline. Let's show you guys what this bike sounds like entirely stock. As you can see, dope looking bike, not dope sounding exhaust. So what we're gonna do today is get this stock exhaust uninstalled and I'm gonna get this beauty unboxed, installed, and of course it wouldn't be an exhaust video if we didn't do a sound check at the end of the day. So it should be a pretty exciting video. If you guys wanna check out uh, what happens in this video, you can uh, check the timeline on YouTube. I know most of you sons of bitches is gonna go straight to the exhaust crank up at the end of the video. Don't do it. Watch the whole video. I know you're gonna do it anyway. All right, let's get this thing started. Also guys, real quick before we get started, here are all the tools you're gonna need to do this job yourself. If you're wanting to do that, feel free to pause the video. I'm only gonna show them just for a second, but pause if you need to. Also, you, these are gonna be left over after you get done. You don't really need them, but I hold on to them just in case. Now guys, you're gonna notice the bike is gonna be on the ground today. A lot of you guys probably already know this, but we've got our 2018 R6 over here. We are building that bike up to be an R6M that we're gonna eventually give away. If you guys wanna win it, you can do it over at WBRGarage.com. As you can see, the swing arm is not on this motorcycle, so we can't really just move the bike off the lift right now. So we're gonna have to do everything from the ground. Because of that, I don't have a tripod small enough to get on the ground. As you can see, like most tripods are like decently sized. We think we have a workaround that's gonna work out really well and I would like to introduce you guys to somebody. Guys, meet RoboCam. Hey RoboCam, how are you doing bud? Okay. So guys, this is the camera we typically put on the back of the uh, car for the camera car shots. We got Patty Rick over there controlling it. So, uh, Pat, if you'll, if you'll pan to the R7 here, just to show the people what that view looks like. As you guys can see, RoboCam's really low to the ground, so he is going to be absolutely clutch. And RoboCam has the ability to zoom in on me. He can do a lot of stuff from that position, so that'll be our working cam today. <laughs> Today's going to be fun. All right, guys, let's get this box installed. Let's see what exhaust we're working with, and then let's get to the install process. All right, guys, we got everything unboxed. Check out everything that comes in the box with this Leo Vince exhaust kit. As you can see, this is an actual full exhaust. You guys might be tricked by these like tiny exhaust boxes. They house a lot of stuff. So 
let's see what we got to do to get to the stock exhaust. So guys, when it comes to the 2022 R7, uh, we kind of luck out with the fairings because instead of lots of little pieces like I'm kind of used to on the R6, the R7 only needs to do this middle panel that comes off. There's a small fairing here. And after that, we should have access to the entire exhaust, at least as much as we'll have access to. So we're gonna get those off real quick and uh, we'll see if that's all we need. Alrighty guys, I uh, got the side fairings uh, removed, which is not too bad. The really interesting thing about these R7 fairings, this lower fairing, can you guys tell? This is a piece of metal. Yamaha combined heat shielding and made it look like a fairing. So we love that. So next steps is to get the current OEM exhaust removed. Might take a second, but let's get to it. All right, guys, check it out. Exhaust is out. Honestly, wasn't as bad as I expected it to be, but look at this 17, almost 17 pound gargantuan. This thing is a hefty boy. How much did Leo Vance uh, say that this new one weighs? A little under four and a half kilograms. So 9.12 pounds. We're 9 dropping. We're dropping seven pounds off of this motorcycle by getting this installed. Okay, now that we've got the old exhaust uninstalled, it is time to install the new glory that is. Let's get straight to it. I do not like working on the ground. My neck is so tired right now. <laughs> Alrighty guys, uh, we got the exhaust installed on the R7. Everything went relatively decent. Like the only kind of mix up I got was the passenger bracket, passenger peg bracket. I had it flipped in the wrong direction. It was incredibly obvious, but everything went together super easily. And this exhaust looks solid. So let's take a look at it real quick. my friends uh with that exhaust is installed so now we're gonna get the fairings back on and then we get the almighty crank up test that's gonna be where this gets really exciting so we're gonna get these fairings on real quick because we are both ready to crank this bike up Guys, we just got the rest of these fairings on this bike and bro, this exhaust makes it look so good. Check this out. Check that out. And look at that. You got the new header pipes just kind of poking through there. They actually look good now and not all crusted up. 
And then, the glory of that. Dude, this bike's about to sound so good. Alrighty guys, you guys know what we got to do now. Let's get this thing rolled out of the shop so me and Patrick don't die from carbon monoxide poisoning and crank her up and see what she sounds like. So, just to remind you guys, this is what this bike sounds like stock. Okay, just, I wanted everybody to be clear. Why does this part never not be nerve wracking? That's not as loud as I expected it to be. Still has a silencer in it. I'm gonna let it warm up for a second and then we'll rev it up. All right, guys, we let it warm up for a second. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Everything's okay in the world, right? No, it's not. Bro, get out of here with an R7. Are you serious? <laughs> it's like a muscle car. That. That's what the silence are in. That it is. <laughs> I okay. Here's the thing though, when you're when you're idling, it's fine. It's not a big deal. It's only when you really start getting on it and you crank it that it actually sounds nuts. And that sounds meaty as hell. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a helmet on it just like right around here or something. I gotta do something. I thought it would sound better. I knew it would sound better. I did not think it would sound like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna go around the parking lot. I just wanna like be riding it and see what it sounds like, you know? We're chill, we're chill. Okay. going to absolutely lose his shit when he hears that oh my goodness man okay that's i got nothing else to show holy snap does that sound as good to you as it does to me because i'm like on the bike it sounds fantastic oh my gosh you know we got to go get some beauty shots oh oh what are you talking about these shots All right guys, so that is it for installing a Leo Vince exhaust on a 2022 Yamaha R7. You guys let us know what you thought about it in the comments down below. In person, it sounds incredible. So hopefully that translates to you guys after audio editing and all that kind of stuff. Let us know if this video is helpful to you guys and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. I cannot wait to give this bike back to the owner. <laughs> Shout out to Leo Vince for the exhaust and letting us get to do that. So now we know what an R7 can sound like. You guys take it easy, you ride safe, and we'll see you on the next motorcycle video. Go on Instagram, cause we'll record a video of him, uh, the owner cranking it up for the first time. I'll put this in if that actually happens. <laughs> also, if you guys didn't know, I did a first start on this bike pre-exhaust install. So if you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave that here at the end of the video. You guys appreciate you watching this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. What about the OC? Put OC in your comments when you let me know what you think about this bike and how it sounded. Okay, love you longer, bye.